Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, my name is Pop. This video tutorial in Ubuntu Basics shows a little bit about how you can do fine tuning with picture placement in a LibreOffice Writer ODT file so that when you convert this by means of caliber into an EPUB that the pictures will be exactly the way you want them to be. It is a very tricky minefield and I'm going to clarify these things for you as much as I can. The cursor is blinking right now in the word processor file on the title and you can see that the title has enlarged font and it says title up here and I told it what size font to use. And then below it, this is going to be the cover, it's the first image in the file. Very often uh, the EPUB has the uh, first image selected as the cover of the book. So when you look at the EPUB you're going to see this picture first followed by the a title and it's going to be in reverse order. That's just a minor matter. The next thing down here I've got chapter one and you'll notice that I have a photograph right next to to the left of chapter one and this photograph is of a telephone and when I click on the picture you'll see that the anchor to the left is on a line just above chapter one and when you reconfigure the size of the screen, such as if you are viewing this on a telephone, that means since the picture is first, the picture will appear first and then chapter one. But if you have a large enough screen and if your ebook viewing program that you use allows you to do so, well then the picture is going to be the left to the left. FB reader to my knowledge, does not allow picture placement to the left or to the right of text. It always seems to select the picture and you can say if or not you want it to go full screen, but you can't do this, what I am looking at right here. Let me go down and there's a picture to the right with text to the left and then I told it to leave a half inch in between. Well, I'm going to tap on this, I'm going to right click it. I'm going to go to picture and sure enough it says that the picture will be to the right and then when I go to wrap it says half inch to the left of the picture and I selected optimal. Let me go back to type and always to paragraph, never to character, never as character and this is right. This one tells you where the picture is going to be. This one tells you where the space for the text should be. So one is right, one is left. Now when you go to the other side of the page here and I click on that, right click, you'll see that the instructions are exactly the same but they're in reverse. Here it says to leave a half inch to the right of the picture and here it says to put the picture to the left again to the paragraph. Please do notice this also there's this other one that says from the left do not use that use left. So far so good. Should not be too difficult. Now once again the anchor is on a line above the paragraph. The anchor is on a line, a blank line, above the paragraph. Notice also that when I inserted the blank line, I hit a backspace and made this blank line start non-indented. Otherwise the picture would have started right here. Very tricky. Going to go down. One more point. This picture on the right, if I click it, the anchor is above the paragraph. So that means if I am viewing this on a telephone, like a cell phone, this picture will precede this paragraph, just in reverse of what you see right now. Let's go down and I'm going to show you some tricky stuff. Lots of pictures in here, a couple of hundred in fact. 
they overlap left right left but not a problem but I'm going to show you a problem let's go here do you see here I have got and remember this is a word processor file I have got some pictures all of them are on the left but the way it looks on the word processor file is I've got this picture with text to the right but there's no room for this picture so the word processor moved it over here to the right and left some blank space and then text is to the right and I'm go down some and we'll get to the third picture and now there's room again well here's how you get around that if you if you want to you can go to arrange and tell this thing to go to the background and when it does the picture on top will overlap this picture and it's going to move over correctly send back you see what it did but now it moved this one out so I'm going to do this one arrange send backward and now the pictures are all over on the left and that is where they will be on the EPUB but visually right now temporarily they're all going to show where they would be on the EPUB but you can't see the whole picture it does not resize the picture the picture stays constant in size let's go over to the EPUB now and take a look this is the EPUB and let's go down down here uh, I have a picture and the picture begins at the top of the screen and when you get to the end of the paragraph there's blank space well that's because the ebook viewer has built into it some intelligence that says hey there's not enough room to put a whole picture down there and we're not going to show part of a picture so when I go to the next page by hitting right arrow see there's the picture it works very nice page down page down again here there's no picture or anything but when I finish the paragraph there's not enough room for the picture let's go down to that one where we had the zigzag stuff that there wasn't enough room and you'll see what I mean this one looks funny there is something wrong and I'm going to go back there and I'm going to correct it I'm gonna remember that it's the beginning of chapter 2 chapter 1 ends with a picture of Johnny Carson to the right and a paragraph but now I've got chapter 2 beginning and see there's a picture there of a casket it's a, an elongated picture but it should be underneath or to the left of or to the right of chapter 2 and it appears to be above chapter 2 so I've got to fix that there's something wrong go down go down go down go down aha look at this didn't I tell you it was going to come out looking good there's that picture there's that picture there's that picture there is no interference on the EPUB. The interference is only on the ODT word processor file. Everything looks great so far. Anytime you find something wrong, well, you got to go back in there and fix it. It might take you a few, few tries, you see. Let me go back over to the word processor file and go to chapter 2 and the beginning of chapter 2 when I hit F5 I'm gonna go right here boom I'm in chapter 2 and you see this picture it's it just seems wrong I don't know what the deal is well when I tap on the picture there's the anchor right there so why isn't it doing it well let's go to picture aha it says from left and from left is incorrect it should be left I'm gonna go left I'm gonna say okay I'm gonna save this and after I save this I go 
control alt and I'm going to close my ebook viewer and actually I'm going to zap this delete right arrow enter I'm going to bring the book back in again enter it takes a second to bring in the ODT file it takes longer to convert it to an EPUB and it takes a long time if you have a lot of pictures and remember I've got over 200 pictures cooking here it's quite amazing in fact it's graying out now I'm going to convert the book and when I hit convert I just say OK because I've got this thing configured just the way I like it and I don't want to ever change it again because I like it this way and it's ziggle zaggling there ought to be a verb for that I don't know what you call that I call it ziggle zaggling and as soon as this thing finishes I'm going to go to chapter 2 and I'm going to see if that picture of the casket is no longer above chapter 2 I may have got it right I may have got it wrong don't worry about it you go in there and pretty soon your logic builds as you uh, do these things and it becomes automatic I should go ahead and put this thing on pause it's taking so long uh, up here in my uh, voco screen I've got this thing running to record pardon me while I hit pause and then I'll come back oh it finished well I don't have to pause here we go I'm opening up the EPUB you tap it once and the EPUB opens and I'm going to go to the chapter 2 and I'm gonna go full screen after it opens and what happened oh it looks terrible no actually it looks alright well I mean it's logical uh, I have got it set up so that it does not leave spaces or lines in between chapters. I just told it to go chapter 1 to chapter 2 to chapter 3 run on. I don't like the way this looks. It's confusing. I'll have to go in there and correct that. Well, while I am at it, um, this has got nothing to do with the EPUBs, but this is a uh, ladies romance novel and you might say what the heck is this 65 year old man writing a ladies romance novel for well uh, my grandmother used to read romance novels and uh, she was from Germany and uh, this gal wrote 208 romance novels and nobody in the United States of America has ever heard of her. Her name is Hedwig Kurz Mahler and she wrote her first book when she was 17. There she is when she's 17. 1876. She passed away in 1950 and she became quite well off and uh, there's a picture up of her in the top uh, left there when she's really really old. And that's her house. Got a beautiful gingerbread house. I think she influenced all of the romance writers in the United States and England. Barbara Cartland and Silhouette and stuff like that but I'm not sure because none of her stuff has ever been translated. They didn't make any movies in the English language about her books but boy they're pretty good. Anyway I wanted to try my hand at a romance novel and my name is Pop and I thank you very very much.